couldn't resist this updated UAP story. It came from this guy, Christopher Mellon, former Deputy Secretary Assistant Director of Defence. Now not in the Department of Defence, but he asked a really good question about UAPs in the United States. And that question is, why were they only seen and investigated by the US Navy? The US Air Force is in charge of national security in the air and space and has some incredible assets. Let's look today at some of the capabilities that the US Air Force has at spotting an incoming UAP. I think the most famous is this, the space fence that tracks over 25,000 separate space objects. And ever since the Cold War and the Dewline or B Muse, that's been upgraded to S bars, not a cheap supermarket. But the solid state phased array system. Let's look at one in detail. While a powerful space fence searches for and tracks objects in space, North America is ringed by a similar massive phased array radar system, primarily to detect incoming ICBMs or cruise missiles. The US Air Force, remember that name, also has the Global Infrasound Acoustic Monitoring Network. This system is comprised of 60 stations in 35 countries to monitor low frequency pressure waves in our Earth's atmosphere. Of course, it was built to detect nuclear explosions, but it can also be used to track objects as they move through our atmosphere and leave an acoustic signature. And probably the biggest US Air Force, I say it again, surveillance system is the Space Surveillance Network. This global program consists of at least 29 distinct worldwide space surveillance systems featuring the world's most powerful radars. Have a look at this one at Elgin Air Force Base, Florida. This is the AN FPS 85 phased array radar. The US Air Force claim it's the most powerful radar in the world. And I think there's a cultural thing here. If you ask the Americans about the Elgin space radar, they tell you about it, unlike Britain or the Soviet Union. And what they say is this. They say it can, listen carefully, track an object the size of a baseball, you know, cricket ball, at 22,000 miles away. Oh, right. And I believe, because I know Americans, that they're underplaying what it can really do. They tell you its basic capabilities, but its true capabilities are greater. Unlike the Russians who tend to overblow what it can do, or the Brits who don't tell you. And then there's a space-based infrared surveillance system looking down in real time for heat signatures from both rocket plumes or even the jet exhaust from aircraft going supersonic. The SBIRS is a network of satellites operating in medium Earth, highly elliptical geosynchronous orbits that together provide continual global coverage of infrared energy sources. And there's more. What about this? This is the Active Electronically Scanned Array, or EASA radars. And what about the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA? The whole of the US is covered with radars. Today, you actually can't even fly a Cessna without being part of the official notification system. You need to squawk who you are, so unidentified craft are immediately spotted. So let's ask the big question, and it's a good one. And the question is, 
Why aren't the US Air Force, with all these assets that you've just learned about, part of the UAP story? Hmm. Well, I think there's various possibilities. And I don't shy away from being controversial here. In my humble opinion, and it's way above my pay grade to know, and in fact, I'm not even on the pay grade, <laughs> Wouldn't one answer be the US Air Force don't need to investigate UAPs because they know what they are? Why waste taxpayers' money when us, the public, and foreign countries have bought into the whole story of Tic Tac? and UAPs and aliens, when in fact they're an advanced weapon system well known by the US Department of Defense, so let's just get the Navy to do it. Oh, that was a bit controversial. There are, and I totally love the idea that there's things out there which are unknown. But look at the big picture. These Tic Tac Nimitz, whatever you want to call them, UAPs, were only seen by the Navy, mm. only seen in the United States, mm. only seen in a military operational area that's well known for testing advanced drones. Mm. What makes them alien? And I'll leave you with this big question. The US and other nations openly are looking all the time for things that are coming into our solar system. Imagine an interstellar spaceship which enters our solar system, orbits the Earth, and then descends through our atmosphere. Show me that data. Show me the extraterrestrial craft that has approached from afar slowed down in Earth orbit and descended into our atmosphere to be visible for the whole of humanity. Uh, no. Weird UAPs are visible in military operational areas. Okay, sure. Advanced technology, yes. Aliens? Very unlikely. I'm afraid the truth is still out there. Watch more podcast clips now on our YouTube channel. Go to Livewire Podcast Clips and watch more great podcast videos just like this one.